selected as one of the filmmakers on the Discovery Rise competition. Working with Save the Children South Africa and Johannesburg Film Festival, it's gonna be lit. I think it's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to vote for me. I'm gonna need you guys to, to support us and all the other filmmakers as well. Um, this was done very quickly. And it's for a great cause, you know, uh, we've got an amazing lineup of amazing stories to tell. And my story particularly is really interesting. Um, I've, I've, I went with Joe Beck to interview Lillian and her story. Um, it's a very interesting story. I had the help of amazing animators who did an amazing job that I can't wait to have you guys see this story. It's going to be lit. It's going to be great. All right, and that's a wrap, guys. I just finished the shoot today with Lillian, and it went well. I uh, had an awesome videographer, so can't wait to see how the animation is going to look. I can't wait to see how everything's going to look. I learned quite a lot of lessons along the way. Um, expect anything in production, but always be prepared to make a plan B. You know, I had an animator who was a little bit overwhelmed, and they decided to drop the project. And so I had to call for my backup guys who came through and um, I can't wait to see the full animation scope. I've seen their storyboard, it's looking really great. I was impressed with how they managed to interpret the brief uh, and the storyboard and, and, and they really understood the vision that I had and what I'm trying to achieve and what I'm trying to, to communicate. I'm really trying to get the story aspect to come across because I think her story is quite like a lot of other migrants' story. Um, she's struggling to, to hear and her family. Her other siblings are struggling to get documented. But it's putting a strain in their family and a lot of opportunities that, are, that could really, really help facilitate in um, making their lives a lot better. So I hope you guys can watch the story. Um, whenever it's going to be broadcasted by Discovery, we'll give you the details later on and all the details for you guys to vote for our stories as well. Okay, okay, here's a dog. I don't like how he's been barking at me the whole day, but anyway. Whew. That's one thing down. Couple of more to go. Being a filmmaker is one of those things where you are a mediator between the story, the storyteller, and the audience, uh, who happen to be the recipients. And it's it's a special journey, but at the same time, um, it's one that requires you to really have an immense understanding in the technical aspect and the tools and how we utilize these tools to help give a voice to those who are voiceless. And I think it's just an amazing experience to carry that process through. And I can't, really can't wait for the story. I'm really excited for this. I, I just finished post-production. I did like a week of, of post-production and filming at the same time. Oh. And an overnight of rendering as well. Rendering, rendering, the ever so illustrious process of rendering. Oh. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Just finished my first draft. But I can't wait for you guys to watch the entire story. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want notifications on what's going on and all the topics that I'll be talking about on the film industry and what's happening. Do like and do subscribe. And do me a solid one and hit that notification bell as well. So super. Stay tuned.